over here with Melissa. Melissa, tell us what we're gonna be seeing today. Hi, Zoo friends. So we're at the rhino enclosure and we're getting Dolly and Polly, our two female southern white rhinos, up and going. Um, we're calling them over to the side of the yard here and we're gonna get some paint on them and make some beautiful art, some rhino art. All right, well, let's follow Melissa over and uh, she'll show us uh, how beautiful rhino art's made. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we have to do is get them over in the right position. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. We have a target stick and ideally we want them to come over to the side of the yard here and line up parallel to the yard um, so that we can get a good spot on their side mm -hmm. and cover it with paint to do their, their special <laughs> art. So this so, is a little different. A lot of times we're doing the art in the barn um, before we bring them out for the day. But it's such a beautiful day and there's minimal distractions right now, so hopefully Except they can focus. Except for me with this camera. <laughs> hopefully they can focus on the art. Doll, uh, Polly is uh, wondering why I'm here, I'm sure. <laughs> and now, what are, you, what are you looking for when you look for a beautiful uh, print from the rhinos? So, the rhino skin is real textured. Um, there's lots of good um, lines and crevices and wrinkles and all kinds of fun parts to rhino. Um, so we pick a good spot, a safe spot that we can easily get to on them. Um, and then we cover that area with paint and do a neat art impression. Um, they really, really prefer um, tactile enrichment, which means they like when we give them attention, when we rub on them, when we scratch them. So um, they enjoy having the paintbrush on their skin. And now talk about how Jacob is kind of getting them, uh, Kathleen is getting them. How would they, how are they working to kind of get them uh, so, where they want them? Um, the buoy on the end of the stick is a really easy visual target for them. So they know their names, they know us, they know our voices. Um, but in order for us to communicate exactly where we want them to go, we have that visual target. So they know to come up, put their horn or their nose directly at that target and then they'll get the attention. Um, we did save a little bit of their morning grain. So they have some grain and some oats in that bucket too. So they will get a little bit of food. They're not very food driven. They really prefer the attention from the keepers instead. So we'll get them in a good safe position and then we'll get started. Okay, well, I'm just gonna wait for, kind of stand back here so I don't get in the way. And. <laughs> so it looks like Polly is gonna be our first artist. So she's the one that's parallel to the bars there and then Dolly is behind her. Um, so we want to keep them occupied. So I'm going to go up and um, start touching along Polly's side to keep her happy mm -hmm. while Jacob's and, doing the art. And I see that Dolly has some and Dolly, yeah, Dolly to has keep some her happy. And some her, okay. some her oats, so hopefully she won't. And we have uh, some, some, rough. some canvases here. <laughs> um, and that's what you all will use to, to press along. Exactly. So we use lots of different um, things to make the rhino art. The canvases seem to be... Um, one of the easiest things that we can use to do a nice impression. So we kind of all have our favorite spots. Sometimes we'll do right behind the ear like this. Sometimes we'll do down on the leg. Sometimes we'll do a side. Um, we even do butt painting. So <laughs> if they're in a proper safe area where we can access their backside, um, we do a nice impression of their, their butt. And that's always a, a crowd favorite. Um, but Polly's going to do a, a behind the ear neck painting. Yeah nice so we've tried a lot of different things with the rhinos um, as far as painting techniques we tried to get them to walk through the paint we tried to get them to paint with their horn with their lips to do a kiss um they do not prefer any of that stuff <laughs> they oh, uh, cool. they really enjoy the paintbrush on their skin um and the attention as i said so this is the, the preferred way for the rhinos so we want to keep them happy uh, and obviously holly doesn't seem to mind having some pretty colors on her side. Yeah, and, and now you can kind of apply that and press it a few times and uh -huh. make a few impressions. And now, Melissa, talk about um, what what normally will happen with these um, paintings. Um, so most often we will take these paintings and give them to our Z shop. 
um, for sale <laughs> throughout the year as we can get them done. Um, with all the different animals, we, we try to just do them as we can um, and as the animals will participate with us because we don't want them to be forced to do anything they don't want to do. So, um, But right now we're doing a special online auction with our animal art. Um, and I believe it starts today, right? Yeah. And um, people will be able to bid on the art pieces throughout the week. And this particular art is going to go towards our emergency relief fund. Yeah, so all the artwork that you see this week um, will be on our Facebook page and on our dona <laughs> donation page. So you can go and find out more information and bid on pieces from the rhinos and from lots of other animals. Melissa, can you talk about just enrichment in general like this and what it does for animals, not just rhinos. Obviously, we do this with a lot of different animals at the zoo. So, in particular, the painting... Um, there are lots of different animal species that enjoy participating in making art. Um, the rhinos obviously like to do the art impressions like this. There are some animals that like to walk through the paint. Um, like with the bears, they'll put paint on the floor and then put a uh, canvas on the floor. So they'll walk through the paint and then make their art with their feet. Um, there's other animals like the primates typically like to paint with their fingers. Some of the cats like to roll in the paint, so they'll put paint on the paper and then they'll roll and kind of do um, fur paintings as it is. Um, so there's lots of different ways that we can enrich the animals. A lot of it is sensory, so they like the smell of it, they like the feel of it. <laughs> um, some like to try and eat it, and we always use, <laughs> we always use the non-toxic tempera paint, so it's very safe um, if they do end up ingesting any of it. It's totally safe for the animals. Um, obviously, it's safe for their skin as well. Yeah. So, um, but enrichment in general, so it depends on the species. A lot of the animals have their own unique preference. Like I said before, the rhinos aren't very food motivated. Ooh. So we don't do a lot of different cool. food enrichment with them, but they love sensory stuff. Right. Um, so anything that they can <laughs> rub on. It's going to show a close-up of her color pattern here is so neat <laughs> and so um how do you choose jacob you're you're manning the brush here how how are you choosing your color palette just what you <laughs> yeah. feel today uh, <laughs> i don't really uh it's my gut okay, just go, he just goes for yeah it. go for I it pick one and go for it we were, we were talking about how we all kind of prefer the greens and the blues and the purples. Mm -hmm. So typically in our department, a lot of our art tends to be greens and blues and purples. Mm -hmm. Or um, we'll do like black and gray, the okay. classic. Okay. So, um, but it is funny because a lot of the <laughs> other departments prefer different types of colors. Some do rainbow painting, some do glitter painting. Um, yeah. It really depends on the staff and then what the animals like too. So. Sure. Sometimes like with the primates, they'll offer different colors. And they may just choose one color to paint with versus another. So it's very, very unique. Do you think Dolly is feeling like maybe it's her turn or no? Oh, no. <laughs> she's she like, what is about me? She's confident in telling us. So <laughs> she, um, if she feels like she's not getting enough attention and she wants to have some painting, she'll, she'll let you know. come up and push Polly out of the Ooh, way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or she'll position herself to the, to the bars too. So. <laughs> As long as we can keep them happy, they're they're pretty good painters for us. Yeah, they seem to be. Um, she seems so calm here. Just oh, I like that one. Yeah. Wow. I love That's when really it has cool. a lot of texture in it because you can yes. really get a feel for how their skin is. It's, yeah, it's, so it's really cool. It's really cool. And it is. It's. I'll show you all the a little lineup here of the paintings that Jacob's been making um, with Polly, and you can really get a sense for their texture of their skin and like <laughs> Melissa was explaining. Dolly's watching right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh did you want to did you want to see the paintings too? Of course. She likes to appreciate fine art. Oh yeah. Only only the finest connoisseurs <laughs> of art here. And then ideally um, when we finish up with the painting with the rhinos cool. we try we have some warm water here so uh -huh. when we're done um, we soak a cloth in warm water and try to clean them <laughs> up, and then um, they really, really love mud. Oh. And mud is important to their skin. Um, it helps protect from sunburn and bug bites, and it helps to moisturize. So we do our best to try and uh, cover their skin with a nice, fresh layer of mud where we've, mm. where we've taken that mud off for the painting. Mm -hmm. So 
it's, yeah. it's an all-in-one like spa treatment. <laughs> it's like spa day. Art and spa. Art, together. art and spa day. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Well, this is really neat, and I'm sure everybody at home um, that's taken time to watch. If you have any more questions about art or um, want to see animals, we're going to have different animals all week long creating artwork here at the zoo. And you can check it out on our Facebook every day. Uh, also, uh, visit our Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hard part, too, because we make all these pretty paintings. And then we're like, oh, I'd really like to keep this one. Yeah. So yeah. get jealous. Yeah, right. <laughs> that we have to give these paintings up. Um, of course, we all have our own painting at home. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really fun, and we enjoy it. They seem to they seem to enjoy the attention. So yeah, it's special time together. And again, just to let everybody know that might have joined us later, these we do normally sell uh, our animal artwork in the zoo gift shop, but since we're closed right now. Um, and because we're doing these special features this week, we are auctioning off some of our animal artwork this week online. If you go to our Facebook page now, uh, you can bid on animal artwork that you will see this week in our Facebook posts. So like the rhinos today, have some creations there and uh, we'll be doing a sneak of some of the art that will be on tomorrow our tigers created and some other animals this week so uh, go to our Facebook page and check out that information well thank you everybody this has well, been really fun and let me just say too I don't think we mentioned it yet but Polly and Dolly are really special because they're 52 next month Wow. So as far as white rhinos go, they typically live about 40 years on average. Um, Dolly and Polly are among the elite, making it into their 50s. So they're extra special to us. Yes. So thank you for joining us. Yeah. These and this, what an extra special piece of artwork you could have from one of these um, ladies. Uh, so thank you all for joining us, and from Dolly and Polly and the mammals crew here at Zoo Knoxville, we wish everybody a good. Happy Monday.